welcome back friends in this segment we'll be understanding what is the law of diminishing marginal utility diminishing marginal utility now before understanding the law of diminishing marginal utility we need to understand this fact that human wants are unlimited when human wants are unlimited we cannot satisfy all the wants that we have but if we take one single want at a time we can satisfy each of these wants for example as a human i may have a want to purchase a car i may also have a want to purchase a house i may also have a want to purchase uh to purchase uh, vegetables i may also have a want to purchase a scooter i may also have a want even to purchase a pen now these wants are unlimited and they go on multiplying so it is a matter of fact that we cannot satisfy all the wants but if we take one want at a time that is purchasing a pen can't i not purchase a pen yes i can or take an example of purchasing a house do you think i cannot purchase a house i if i take this want as a single want i can always satisfy this want so when wants are unlimited all wants cannot be satisfied but if we take a single want at a time then it is satisfiable that is you can satisfy that want now let's see what the law of diminishing marginal utility say the law says the additional benefit which a person derives from given increase in stock of a thing diminishes with every increase in the stock that he already has now this says the additional benefit the benefit here means the utility or the satisfaction so the additional benefit which a person derives from an increase in the stock of a thing that is if he goes on increasing the stock or if he goes on increasing the consumption or if he goes on increasing the purchases made so what happens if he goes on increasing the stock or increasing the consumption the benefit or the utility or the satisfaction diminishes with every increase as you go on increasing the consumption the satisfaction level that you derive from the next consumption next unit of consumption it goes on diminishing let's say you are having ice creams the first ice cream that you have will give you the maximum amount of satisfaction now when you have the second ice cream it is obvious that you will derive lesser satisfaction from it because when you consumed the first ice cream you did not have any ice creams before it you had a want you had a desire to have the ice cream so with the consumption of first ice cream that desire that want is satisfied so you derive the maximum level of satisfaction but when you have the second unit that is the second ice cream you again derive some level of utility some level of satisfaction but it is not equal or more than the first it will always be less than the satisfaction derived from the first ice cream because you've already had the ice cream now you do not have that intense a want to have another ice cream but let's continue you also have the third ice cream now what will happen is in the third consumption the satisfaction that you get will decrease 
furthermore will diminish furthermore and as you go on having more and more ice creams the extra benefit the additional benefit or the additional satisfaction or the utility you derive from each consumption will go on reducing will go on diminishing let's understand this thing with the help of a schedule we are already clear with our concepts on total utility and marginal utility we know what total utility is we also know what marginal utility is total utility is the total benefit total satisfaction total utility derived from all the consumptions taken together and marginal utility is additional benefit additional utility or additional satisfaction derived from an additional consumption so now let's understand the schedule given here a person is consuming a commodity now when he consumes the first unit of the commodity the total utility that he derives is 20 because from it he derived 20 utility only as the marginal utility this marginal utility was 20 so his total utility was also 20 now when he consumes the second unit what happens his consumption of the second unit gives him lesser utility from that particular consumption that is he derives a lesser amount of satisfaction in the first consumption he derived a satisfaction level of 20 in the second consumption he derives a satisfaction level of only 15 so what has happened is satisfaction level in the second unit has decreased and in the third unit of consumption is satisfaction level from the third unit decreases to 10 earlier in the second unit when he consumed the second unit it was 15 and when he consumes the third unit it falls to 10 when he consumes the fourth unit the happiness the benefit the utility the satisfaction that he derives from the fourth unit of consumption is only 5 now because he is having more and more of that commodity that commodity is not giving him that big a level of satisfaction the satisfaction level with each consumption is declining is diminishing is reducing and when he has the fifth unit the satisfaction level that he derives from the fifth unit is zero now why would it be zero because this person is done with consuming that commodity now that commodity is no more giving him any happiness it is no more giving him any utility or satisfaction so the satisfaction level at fifth consumption is zero what happens when he still continues to consume he consumes the sixth and the seventh unit the satisfaction level gets into the negative it's minus 5 and minus 10 respectively now it's very difficult to understand how can the satisfaction level be minus 5 or minus 10 or any number in minus but this is our assumption we have to put a cardinal number to the satisfaction level derived so once we are done with consuming we do not want to consume more units of the commodity and still if we consume more we will have negative satisfaction let's consider a case where you are very hungry and you are having food and the first morsel you have you feel very happy you derive satisfaction from it you derive utility from it but the second morsel that goes in gives you a lesser amount of satisfaction the third morsel that goes in will give you a 
further lesser amount of satisfaction and finally when your stomach is full you'll have you'll derive no satisfaction from the consumption and if you still go on consuming you may feel restless you may feel that your stomach is full and it cannot have more of the commodity so the satisfaction that you will get so your happiness will get converted into unhappiness you'll actually not want to have it but in our assumption you go on continuing your consumption so the satisfaction or the happiness you derive from it will get into the negative now let's take a look at total utility total utility is nothing but marginal utility taken together all the marginal utilities taken together it is the cumulative value of all the marginal utilities so at first unit of consumption since marginal utility is 20 total utility is also 20 at second level of consumption total utility becomes 35 how because you derive 20 from the first consumption and 15 from the second so total utility at the second unit of consumption is 35 at the third unit of consumption 20 from the first 15 from the second and 10 from the third so if you add all these take a sum of all these you will get a satisfaction level of 45 but this is the total satisfaction total utility likewise at the fourth you will have 50 at the fifth you will still have 50 because there the marginal utility is zero and if you add zero to 50 what you will get is what you will get is 50 the total utility at the sixth unit of consumption now falls to 45 because you derived a satisfaction of 50 till the fifth unit and in the sixth unit you are deriving negative utility of 5 so 50 minus 5 will be 45 same is the case with seventh unit of consumption at seventh unit you are deriving a marginal utility of minus 10 so till the 6th unit your total utility was 45 and if you add minus 10 to it your total utility will fall to 35 again now if you take a close look at these figures you will observe that the marginal utility is constantly falling with every additional unit of consumption your satisfaction level is falling so at every level the marginal utility is falling however the total utility goes on increasing till a certain level after that it starts to fall so when the marginal utility gets negative your total utility starts to fall until that period it goes on increasing from 20 to from 20 it increases to 35 from 35 it increases to 45 from 45 to 50 it is going on increasing but once the marginal utility gets negative it starts to fall from 50 it came to 45 and from 45 it reaches to 35 